So, dear friends, uh, the main theme, as it's very clear, is integrating organic food with all other products uh, because it's not just food. There are many other products. And this is especially with focus on accomplishing sustainable development goals. And this is what I think is the future of the world. Uh, I'm sharing all this learning with you that I have learned in last 32 years at three different places, uh, working with Berlin Institute, training the tribal women for 26 years, and then after retirement, Jimmy McGilligan Center for Sustainable Development, which is practically just our little home. And Javik Setu is one of the one of the grassroots effort where uh, organic products are sold, and you will see some of the things there. And this is a community-based initiative. Some friends got together and started Javik Setu means organic outlet. And we have Uday Bhole here, uh, the head of that Javik Setu, and you can find more about it. And I have been associated with all these institutions and served practically for more than 1,000 villages and some cities, youths who will count about 50,000 till now personally who have been trained uh, during the last 32 years in my, with my experience of working with Jimmy at these institutions and after him also. And during these years, I also got an opportunity to work with I don't know how many hundreds of NGOs and government institutions and educational schools and colleges and universities and women and farmers and all kind of groups. And I related that solar cooking and related technologies need to be systematically integrated with organic products. And all this learning is coming <clears throat> after successfully developing solar cooking technologies, uh, solar information, uh, resulting installation and transferring more than 500 SK-14 cookers <clears throat> and six solar community kitchens and personal use of hands-on on daily basis, all sunny days, use of solar cookers, dryers and involvement in testing and improving and developing and documenting, disseminating information to the tribal communities on monthly newspaper, on local language, and, uh, and empowering people in engineering skills, training, researching. And these places evolved as centers for learning as the, as the time passed on, and it drew attention of NGOs, government institutions, political leaders, and, and many other networks of youths and solar cooking movement. We could, actually solar cooking movement has helped us to grow along with it, and we think we have grown also along with it, and movement has also grown with us. I, I first of all, I want to say that the very language of sustainable development goals, I'm not reading all those, accomplishing sustainable development, all that paragraph written in red. It's all written in a very negative way, that we have to eradicate poverty, hunger, reducing death rates. The reality is that nobody can dispel darkness. We cannot ever end poverty. We can only light a lamp and increase the light. And we can increase a little bit of income level. We can increase. Everything has to be positive. So that is what I have learned. And I think if we have this attitude of sustainable development is something positive, and it has to be 
and these goals cannot be achieved without i say simple statement we cannot increase we cannot end darkness but light a candle and increase the light sun is giving unlimited light and not harnessing its energy by the whole world is one of the root causes of those unachievable goals without using natural resources sustainably this is what my uh, diagnose of the whole problem is that we are not using natural resources in a sustainable manner and let us start having our feet on the ground make the earth sustainable by organic production turn on the sun just turn on the sun on this whole earth use solar cooker solar heat retaining boxes solar dryer biogas briquettes and other sustainable supplementary technologies this is the answer to all those problems which are existing and my vision and learning is that when farmers also become local entrepreneurs they don't depend on market they create their own markets and develop these technologies people can have clean water will have solar cooked food no more smoky kitchens for women pioneers of new sustainable technologies and consequently become winners of sustainable development goals we have to make people winners of sustainable goals like people want to play in the life and they want to win a game so sustainable achievement goals is an effort toward positive use of natural resources and this has been statistically qualitatively and quantitatively proved all the data is on the internet uh, we have done systematic studies even my book my phd is there you can read it and uh, income generating economic gains can be achieved has been achieved by women who have taken training from us by having enabled trainees have been enabled to use cookers properly and it has they said it saves their 800 to 1000 rupees per month by using solar energy not costing them about wood or lpg and reduce this burden by enabling young women self help micro credit groups and income generating by producing and marketing solar processed food contributed to promote sustained inclusive and sustainable economic growth full and productive employment and decent work when they will have a good quality of life when they have clean air so uh, and it also improves their maternal health smoke free life clean air when they use the solar cooker and again i am leaving this data with you and ensuring environmental sustainability clean water healthy and comfortable life access to locally available nutrients that are inexpensive and sensitive to village conditions education girls were not going to school because they had to collect firewood now they can go to school and they can also go to school and take higher education also and their families who are earning livelihood they work in their home and attend the school both and sensitizing children and youths in sustainable food and lifestyle i think that is very important key we have to prepare the future consumers and the future users of these cookers by sensitizing them and use of ecosystem sustainable managed forest partnership for the goals go all partners like this is global partnership we have i think sci is a good platform for bringing world wide partners and associates to work together as well as with un for accomplishing 
sustainable development goals. This is one of the sustainable development goals to have partnership. And I also, from my personal experience, uh, I will just finish this, that when, what is the process of empowerment? First, the people need, we need to raise their awareness level. Then we need to, uh, then we need to train them in a way that they're motivated and empowered. And they're trained by local people. We train more local human resources and develop them. And the trainers should not behave like masters and, you know, superiors or they should be facilitated. They, there is a part, typical methodology of empowering people. And women, especially, there is a lot of emphasis on gender equality in sustainable development goals. Women are natural agents of sustainable development because they pass on their knowledge, experience, their skills automatically from generation to generation. I'm just quickly sharing these pictures with you from where this my experience is coming. This is the land I was given in 1985 on the left side where Jimmy and I developed that institute. It's a Baha'i inspired institute called Burley Development Institute, which is one of your tour sites. You will see that, and I'll not talk much about it, where 6,000 girls were trained, and they went back to their communities, and they are now promoting solar cookers and environmental education, and that's the campus we left after 26 years. You can see an eco-friendly campus, and organic food. It's the same land, organic food grown there, then solar kitchens and storage cooker. Food is cooked three times a day. You will see it still, it was installed in 98. Professor Sani has already shared with you, so I'll not go more in detail. And training of men, local solar engineers without degrees. That's one of the achievement hiker from Solar Brocade personally came and gave her time free of cost. And I think this is what the solar engineers who are associated with SCI should be generous enough to go to the places in India and train more youths at local level who can become manufacturers if we want a mass production. And women should be definitely, and this was a bakery made by Jimmy and solar kitchens made in the area, mainly by him. And he, this is microcredit groups who are earning livelihood after learning from us how to use solar cookers. And uh, I very strongly recommend that technology should not be given without training of users. Training of people who will install and training of people who will use is one of the fundamental uh, requirement for successful use of cookers and we did a survey after 10 years 99 percent cookers were still in use only one sk14 kit was sold by a drunk father because his daughter was married and he wanted to drink and he stole he sold it for scrap that's only one case because the girl was not there. And we, it was reported to us, she cried. But we managed to give her another cooker at her in-law's house, and she's still running it. And <laughs> microcredit groups, income generating, solar dryers of different type, and all solar dried products. And the idea is sustaining for ourselves. Burley Institute, 150 people, Throughout the year, they really don't buy much. And this is another application of SK-14 ironing the clothes. 500 cookers working in the area. Solar tea stall, still running in Dhar district in a village. And uh, in 2011, Jimmy and I decided to retire and live in a village. And we made this, he, he built this house with Nanda and Ajinder. And unfortunately, he passed away in a road accident. But then after that, I dedicated this house in his name. It's not a funded NGO. 
I am not involved in money. I don't take money. I don't give money. It's just my personal service with the help of Nanda and Rajender. And we have this place named as Jimmy McGilligan Center for Sustainable Development. We have 13 type of solar cookers, solar kitchen, and through, there are many youths here who have been trained at this center, and one of them is running a hostel of children in the village after he learned to use a prince cooker that was donated by somebody taken from Ajay Chandak, but they did not know what to do with it, so this boy is still here. And uh, this goes on throughout the year. Now, when I talk about many other products, this is, I think, when we talk about sustainability, it's not just food. Our culture, our ceremonies, our festivals, our death and marriage and birth and anniversaries and festivals, everything has to be sustainable. So it's all, this is teaching people how to make natural color. And we have a Javik Setu where the people sell it and they make income. And this is about holy festival. And uh, processing of flowers, our own flowers for decoration, for making color, and again sold at uh, Javik Setu where we have an outlet. This is teaching people uh, in the death uh, anniversary of Jimmy every year, we have a week long solar program when Deepak, Chan, Ajay, Ghansham, Professor Sani come. We talk about these things at the same time like Javik Setu is one of the outcome of that. And we have this training program daily with the help of some friends who are solar chefs and they come and help. All these things, names are pizza and cake, but they are all made with homegrown, our own. I have a one acre farm, uh, some part of my neighbor, but still we use it. We are nine people living on that farm and we are fully sustainable. I only buy salt, sugar, tea leaves, and cooking oil, full stop. I don't buy anything, it's all organic. And I have a cow, and a cow food, dog's food, everybody gets organic, and everything we do there is organic. And all of you who are coming there, you will get some organic food. And I also, this is solar dryer. There are two, three, how many minutes I have? I still have two, three minutes of finish? Five, okay. Negative five, okay. These are the solar dry things. You will see when you come, right at the end, one man is having Chiku in his hand. He bought six dryers made by somebody who was trained by Jimmy. He is using solar dryers for fruits. And there are people who are using banana flower, and this is regular things of making sherbet syrup from lemon and uh, ambari, local products, and jams and chutneys and home products and herbs, and uh, this is the smallest example, growing our grams, chickpeas, making dal, making atta, and making namkeen, all at our own little solar cooking and uh, drying unit, and we make briquettes to use uh, in, in monsoon time. And uh, I end it with saying that it's all, development is all about sustainable choices, including marriage. I think all the couples who are married in solar cooking are very successful. Deepak and Shireen, and uh, Charlie and Julie, and this couple here, and many of them, me and Jimmy, we made a great job. We, we chose to work for solar energy, and it's all about God and all his creation and sustaining our relationship with all creations because we don't have a choice how we will die, but we have a choice how we can live. Let's live sustainable. And I end with my dedication to Shireen and Jimmy, who have been showing me the way to solar.